name is Ian Morang. I'm 46 years old. I live in Los Angeles. I'm married. I have no children, and I coach the sport of triathlon. I chose to have a vasectomy to finally take responsibility for birth control in my relationship. For years, my wife handled it herself through varying methods, some of them with a lot of risks and some real health drawbacks. And it was time for me to step up and, and have, have it done. Before the vasectomy, my wife and I had a big conversation about whether or not we wanted to have children. We didn't have any children. And we didn't want to have children at the time. But our concern, of course, was what if we want to have children later on? So we went and took a class about adoption. We learned everything there is to know about adoption. And we realized that if we wanted kids later on, we would simply adopt. And to that end, we were both confident we didn't want children at the time. So that freed us up to have the vasectomy. I didn't really have any concerns before having the vasectomy. I know other men have been concerned about low sex drive or um, a reduced competitive fire or just some, you know, some diminishment in their manliness and that just hasn't been the case at all. The surgery was a piece of cake. In fact, it was so simple that I think it might better be called a procedure. It wasn't in a hospital, it was in the doctor's office. And uh, it took, I don't know, 40 minutes maybe. Um, I walked in and the, the nurse had to shave uh, the area that would be cut. And um, then the doctor made a very small incision in, in what I think is called the scrotum sac. I think that would be an accurate term. A very small incision. And then he reached in um, with some sort of implement and pulled out the vas deferens, the, the cord that gets cut. He cut that, folded it each end back on itself, and then tied them off. And I mean, it seems like overkill, but he, he, he wanted to be absolutely positive that no uh, sperm would swim and bridge that gap. And um, he sewed it back up with what, I think two stitches. It was very tiny. And um, sent me home. Later, the local anesthesia wore off. There was a little bit of discomfort, but I wouldn't call it pain. And I iced for maybe 20 minutes three times that night. The next day was fine, and I think two days after I was back on the bike. The vasectomies had a huge positive change on our life in two major ways. One is there's no more question or doubt or reliance or concern about my wife's birth control. We're done with that completely. She's totally natural, healthy. We don't have the expense of it anymore. It's over. Because that's really an ongoing process. My process, the vasectomy, was a one-time issue. And it was inexpensive, simple. And now we are free, liberated, to experience the real benefit, which is absolute spont spontaneity in sex. So that's great. I mean, diaphragms and condoms just cr create this screeching halt to any intimacy as it's building. And uh, now there's just this freedom to just progress and at any pace wanted and without hesitation. And, and that's really nice. I meet guys who are considering vasectomies and they ask for my advice. And I tell them they should have it done. I tell them that it's simple. It's virtually painless. And it just creates such a great atmosphere of, of freedom for the, for the man to finally take responsibility for, for birth control. I also tell them this. They don't realize it, but every time they have sex, there is a small weight on them, a, a little thought in the back of their mind that there is a risk of pregnancy. And they don't realize it, but after the vasectomy, the liberation, the freedom from that concern is, that's a beautiful thing.